Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie, I'm in the craft room. I have another budget-friendly crafting haul. This time it's from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby's, um, at the time that I'm recording this, um, it's the beginning of March. So basically for the month of February, they put a lot of their crafting products on clearance. And <clears throat> I went a couple times, this is just the, the most recent one, <laughs> with the stuff that I picked up. and. The point of this is not so much that you can go out and get these particular items because again they are on clearance, but stores like Michael's and Hobby Lobby or Joann's, like just watch when they have sales because um, when they do that's when you really want to go in and capitalize. So everything here was on sale except for um, these four items. So let's talk about these four first of all and then um, we'll go through the rest of the goodies. So in my must-haves video I talked about sequins and how that you could possibly get them from somewhere else and here's an example. This was regular price. It was $1.99. <clears throat> Look at how many sequins you get. Like compared to Pretty Pink Posh this is even more, right? So <clears throat> these are a holographic. Again, somewhat neutral so you can use on any sort of um, project. Um, this, it's not, not specific, right, in any sort of color scheme. You can use a 40% off coupon with something like this, right? So if, even if you only go in um, to buy one item, uh, you could use 40% and then it would be even more budget friendly. These three items I also bought full price. Um, well, actually I used a 40% coupon on one of them because I really like them. <laughs> And I just didn't want to go back again because I figured I'd probably save more money by buying them now than going back four times and using a 40% off coupon, but that's just me. Um, these are foam stamps. They're regular price $2.99, and they're large, right? Like if you look at the size of my hand, they're really large. So this will fill a card front really easily. What I like about foam stamps is they work really great with um, acrylic paint. So um, that is something to keep in mind. Um, they work with ink as well, so I'm not sure how well they will work with the markers, so we'll give that a try and see how that works out. So anyways, I bought four of them. This butterfly, the feathers, this floral image, and then this stars. Again, fairly generic shapes that I can use for multiple occasions and multiple purposes. Okay, so let's get into the little goodies that I found at clearance price. So these fish, fishy foam things, 74 cents for the entire pack. They look like they're self-adhesive. Um, I think these will make some really cute um, cards. You just do like a watercolor wash background and add a couple of the fish and a sentiment and you're good to go. Also found some of these foam stamps. They're on, um, they're all attached, but you can break them apart. They were each 25 cents. This one kind of has a boyish theme or a travel theme, and then this one uh, is a more aquatic or sea life type one. So, 25 cents each for those. There was also a bigger set for 75, and this was more of a border slash um, floral. I think these will also work really well if you get into um, stamp printing, like jelly pressing, jelly press using a jelly press plate. So that was another reason why um, I thought this would be something I could use, and a, you know, 75 cents. <clears throat> In there, I guess these are kind of like buttons. Uh, what do they call them? Knickknacks. 75 cents. These are Christmas ornaments. So again, I thought either for Christmas scrapbook pages or even on a card. It looks like you get uh, probably about six six or seven pieces maybe. Oh, eight pieces. Eight pieces for 75 cents. This is another foam. This one is mounted on a, an acrylic piece, so you would just ink it up and then stamp. I thought this was a good background kind of shape. 50 cents for that. <clears throat> My least expensive item, 17 cents for this arrow. Again, arrows are very generic. I can use them for scrapbooking, for card making, etc. They had a ton of wood mount stamps on sale. Now, I normally don't buy wood mounted stamps because I think they're really expensive, but these are discounted enough that I felt it was worth worth um, 
purchasing. So this daisy was two dollars. This great little swirl, again, great for backgrounds, two dollars. This um, canary, canary cardinal <laughs> was two fifty, and this poinsettia was two fifty. And then I like the sentiment on this one, though the miles. Uh, what does it say? I can't even read it. Anyway, okay. Though miles may lie between us, we are never far apart. Friendship doesn't count the miles it measured. It's measured by the heart. I thought that would be cute to send some cards to my friends. Okay. The other thing you need to do is go outside of the scrapbooking card making section and see what there is in those areas. So. I went over, um, I guess it's with more like home decor kind of stuff, and they had these mosaic, gray mosaic tiles. It's $1.25. Um, I thought these would make some cute embellishments. Now, you probably wouldn't want to put too many on a card or on a page because um, it would be fairly heavy, um, but I thought this would be kind of fun. Now, I'm not, I'm assuming they're gray backed, but if they were clear, clear backed you could definitely use this as um, you know stamp an image or something underneath it the other thing I thought these would make is um, maybe for some sort of decor piece so anyways $1.25 have a look also in the home decor section were stencils 75 cents for this stencil but you can see you can clearly put this on a card especially the butterflies and this floral piece even if you only put a part of it you know cut some of it off that would work really well as well and then uh, they also had a clearance on their on their scrapbook albums now post on albums I know a lot of people don't like them um, you know from an ease of use yes binders are much easier but 625 versus you know 20 to 30 dollars for a binder album I think is a pretty good deal I bought two of them with the pineapple on I'm I have some album uh, albums. I have some trips to like the Dominican and Cuba that I need to document, so I thought that would be perfect for those. And then they also had this album here with the map of the U.S. And I haven't done my 2012 year yet, which I think I'll put in here. That's the year that I moved from Canada to the U.S. So I thought that would be something fun to use. So that is my little crafty budget haul from Hobby Lobby. And hopefully you found some things here to inspire you to, you know, go and dig around in those box stores and see what you can find. Definitely check out their clearance sections. Okay, so until next time, happy crafting.